some of the issues that I had around employment were based on my beliefs mm, and fears of believing myself in pursuing what I really wanted to do. We're not going to go into all that either. What I will say is there are some good side hustles. Um, I have found, and let me tell you, okay, so um, the side hustles that I have started, I, I'm just going to share from my experience. I think Poshmark is a great side hustle. Um, I think that if you have things laying around that aren't being used to go ahead and look up that item and, and price comp and see, okay, well, if it's not adding any value to my current life, what value can I get for it? See how much it's worth. And if you feel like it's worth it, go ahead and post it. So I feel like Poshmark is a great side hustle, something to do, something to bring in income, something to keep your environment clean. Um, because after reading, what is it? The Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo, I was like, oh girl, you know, I have a history of shopaholics and somewhat hoarders in, in my friends and family. And so um, I was like, I don't want to be like that. Anyway, so Poshmark is a great side hustle. I would say uh, for me, depending on what city you were in, DoorDash has been a great side hustle. Great. Um, the key is to go to an area that is very nice, you know, upper, upper echelon, whatever, wealthier area, and then to go in an area that's very nice and then also has a lot of food places around it because you kind of want the amount of money you're receiving to be more than the miles you're going. I mean, that's just common sense. So um, I have found it depending on the night in the neighborhood and the area you're in to be a nice little side hustle. Um, and then what else? What was my third one? Okay, yes, the Forex market, um, MetaTrader 4 app. Here's my thing. I know that there's a ton of classes that are offered. I know that there's a ton of groups and support teams that have been offered. I'm not here to promote any of them. What I will say is if you want to create some residual income or you want to have a side hustle, it may be worth finding a YouTuber or Googling or reading a book and learning about it and deciding if you feel like you have enough information, you know, whether or not you want to go ahead and take a class or sign under a mentorship program or not. I do think that Forex can be a nice side hustle independent from even joining a group or even a support team or a mentorship program. I think that there's a, a lot of knowledge out there. And I would say the only thing I would warn against is getting overclouded in your knowledge. So if you find a YouTuber who you feel like is really dishing you a lot of good trading secrets or a lot of good tr trading strategies to go ahead and just follow that one person's method and then master that or see what that does, open your account with a very little balance because we're talking about side hustle. So I would say, you know, anywhere from 100 to 500 dollars if you want to start the investment and then go ahead and start using those strategies on small lot sizes um so we're saying maybe like a 10 cent a 50 cent and then building up from there you can go from there dollar fifty dollar then you can build all the way to five dollar lot sizes but what i'm saying is i think that that's something that you can play with especially if you're a night owl if you're a night owl or you're somebody who finds them, themselves up really early in the morning to just go ahead and try it find someone, study a little bit, and then especially if, if you're in an okay position and it's just a side hustle, you know, as long as you keep your lot sizes, it can be kind of like a game to you. As long as you keep your lot, lot sizes small, it can be like, okay, well today I made $3 or yesterday I, I'm, I lost $2.97, but today I recovered $4.02. But you'll learn, especially if you're following one person and you're back testing and you're doing all of that, you'll learn the market yourself. And then from there, you can decide, okay, I want to take this further. Let me go ahead and look into this mentorship program. Let me go ahead and sign up with this company or that company or whatever. Um, but I do think that those are the three side hustles that I have tried. And I think that um, they can be really beneficial, especially if, you know, you want to just figure out what's going to work for you, what you like. I mean, you may get into Forex and not even like it, or you might get into Poshmark and not even like it, or you might do DoorDash and not even like it. But I know that, you know, I was always looking for ways to make money um, that outside of the realm of unemployment, because I mean, outside of the reason, outside of the realm of formal employment, because in Atlanta, for me, it just had been really wishy-washy. It had just been really been like, you know what I'm saying? And so I was like, well, you know, I kind of want to have some things that I have going on independently of that position, independently of this or whatever. And so those are the things that I think are worth looking into. Um, yeah, I know a lot of people will be like, well, you need, you know, 
I'm not pushing for any Forex company. I have been under one. Um, it was beneficial. Do I think that it's completely necessary and needed with today's digital age and the access of YouTube books, digital books, etc.? That's up to that person to decide, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I don't think that <clears throat> that's the only thing that will help you learn Forex. I think you can learn. I definitely think you can teach yourself or you can definitely find someone that you rock with and follow their strategies and keep your lot sizes small, back tasks, look at your performance, figure out what you did and didn't do wrong with very little with very little losses. And then even with Forex, in, when you're in there, you have stop losses. So, you know, a lot of people are like, well, it's so risky. You know, everything in life is a risk. You know, leaving the damn house is a risk. You know, cooking is, a, everything is a risk. And so um, in life, you know, you have to decide what are the risks you wanna take or you don't wanna take. But those that's my advice that's um three things that i have dippled and dabbled with um my next thing may be on another platform but i've really just been learning how to allow the digital age you know and freelancing and freelancing opportunities um to help me you know sustain or create you know residual and passive income etc um so yeah, that's it. Those are my tips. Um, and I'm done.